How to install Mac drivers for Canon UFR printers sealed on a Mac. On the double clicker, just click on the installer package. Installer package will come up. You'll hit continue, continue, agree. Eventually, it's going to prompt you for a password. And I'm going to put the phone down there. Just give me one second. So I don't want anybody to see what the password is. Okay, once you get the password in, then it's going to run its little installer. Basically, we're waiting for this to finish. And once it finishes, then we just need to go into the the Apple. Uh, preferences and add a printer but we do have to wait till this finishes I'm just jumping ahead while we're waiting so we'll go to the print fax and here we have some printers you will click on the plus to add printer. And then we get the printer dialog box. Let's make sure to see if this is done yet. It says about five minutes. So this speed will depend on how your computer, how fast your, your Mac is. So once it's added, we will go and we will type in the IP address of the printer. In this case, it's this. Here's the important part for the queue. A lot of times you can get by with print. For this particular, we're going to put LP, line printer, or LP, whatever, however you want to say it. Here you can name the printer. Um, in this case, we're just going to call it Canon uh, 4025. I suppose front. It's just the location of where it is. And then down here at the bottom we're going to click select printer software. Now because this isn't done yet we're not going to see what we need to see but we'll be selecting printer software and then you should get this. If you don't see anything in here then there's a problem. Um, if you just type in the model which in this case is a 4025 in advance. Um, you should see uh, the image runner uh, up here. Now we're probably not going to see that until this is done over here, which looks like it's just about done. So I'm going to back out of this. Finishing. Okay, so it's done. So we're going to close. Now we're going to let's finish this guy, see if it comes up. I might have to close back out of this. To see if it shows up. Oh, no, oh, it showed up. So, click on that. Hit OK. It's going to put the driver down here, and we notice we have the correct one. And then we hit Add. Now, at this point, all you have to do is add whatever you have. And this particular Canon, I believe, just has the inner two way inner tray. So, uh, output options, two-way inner tray, and then continue, and then hit, and it should just add it by itself, but it just takes a minute. Once it goes down, you'll see it's going to pop in here, and it'll go to idle, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to double click on it. This is going to pop up a, a window. And if you go up to the top, you can actually, well, when you click on it, of course, it's going to say Canon, you know, front. And you can go printer, and you can go print test page. And it should. It's on the test page, you should see it come up. And what will end up happening is, is it should disappear out of here. And then your Canon will print, just like it is. And that's basically it.